Hello, YouTube. All right. I'm going to wait for a couple of my chatters to jump in the box live. Me, if you're watching the recording, you might want to scoot, scoot, scoot ahead a little ways. And we'll get started in a couple minutes. I'm going to line up my camera here in the meantime. Wrong way. Keep forgetting this looks the opposite of what I'm seeing on screen. Oops. There we go. Hey, Joan! The sun finally came out here, Joan. It was raining all night and all all day. Um, the sun finally came out, and it's pretty decent. Hey, Evie! And, um... Hi, Kathy! Uh, the sun's out now, but it's kind of humid. It's not that hot, though, but tomorrow will be... Hey, Z! Tomorrow will see what happens tomorrow. I didn't even remember that it was supposed to rain this weekend. Hi, Linda from cloudy Illinois. Yep. We just had the sun come out here finally. Hi, Janine. Hope you're doing better. Hey, Dr. Dot. Hi, Jan. Okay. Let's get started and peel back these layers. I was playing the other day. One of the, so I ordered two black deli papers because the one, hey, CB. The one, Ellen, um, has now an unknown delivery date. So when that happens, usually it's kind of canceled. So I found some. It was uh, 9 by 12, which is exactly the size of the plate I've been using. But I don't know what I feel about it. It's black, but it's not black, black. You know, it's it's dark, dark gray. It's very slippery. It's very, very slick. But it's it's okay. We're going to play with some more of that today. Put that over here to the side. Who else is coming here? Hey, Fran. Hi, Liz. Amber, welcome. So here's, I was just playing the other day with some of that black paper. I, that's in here somewhere. But these are some of the other ones I was playing with. And you know, this black paint. As much as it beat it up and as runny as it was at first, even though I shook it, it's much thicker now. So I'm going to, I want to play with that and see if that's still acting the same way. And if it's not beating up as much, I'm going to figure out what I can add to the plate, probably water, but add to the plate to make it beat up more. Uh, the white still seems to be doing its thing. So I don't know if it was really separated maybe and what was coming out was real had a lot of medium in it or something. I don't know. It's still cool, but it's not doing exactly the same. So here's another one I did. I can't even remember what color this was. It was a red. I don't think it was an ink. I think it was a paint. Who knows? That's been days ago. I'd have to go back and look at the video. This one's kind of pretty. That was this indigo. Uh, a Lucas indigo. And Lord only knows what else I put on there. But I did drip some of the mermaid ink just on the plate as the white and the indigo were doing its thing. And that came out kind of cool. How the ink just bled. This one. I think I did this these two before. But I do really like this as a background, though. I might use that in a collage today if we get there. If I don't go down the rabbit hole with experiments. <laughs> this one came out kind of cool. Kind of old wallish in honor of my buddy Robin. So if you guys didn't see Robin's um, premiere that she did today on YouTube, she um, was, was showing her um, Art Foamies line that's that's come out. So she has, I don't, I, I guess they're available now on Art Foamies. I didn't really look. She said that um, KP is going to send me a say, hey, Judy. KP is going to send me a set so I can, um, you know, play with them online and share those. So this is, see these streaks, these indigo streaks that came up in this one, how it wrinkled? Well, the shiny bits, here's those streaks that came up with whatever I did there. Now, this is that Black Deli. This is just another one. This one has kind of cool old wall bits on it. Kind of a pink tornado in the middle. Where's Eileen? She loves this pink stuff. 
That one was just kind of all black. Blackity black black. This was my cleanup sheet. I'll continue to use that one. This one was kind of kind of cool for a background sheet. Now CB, I got quite a stack of stuff for you. This is the black deli. That that one I don't think was black deli. No, that was my black bond paper. This is the black deli. Um, it's thinner, so let me get this black paper. This is blacker, right? But this is the lighter side. Hang on, let me put this next to the the right side. So here's the back side of that. Here's the right side of that. So you got like three shades of, oh, we're working on 50 shades of gray. How bad can that be? <laughs> um, but it is thinner. It's the deli paper meat packing paper i think they called it and this is this is the bond paper so you can kind of hear the difference this one i punched some holes out of for some reason and i tore a piece that's what i used in this corner this corner of this collage was a piece i tore off down here of the holes from here over of the holes why i punched holes in it in the first oh you know what it had it was a piece of black paper that already i had punched holes out of hey kath I had already punched holes out of it to use a solid black circle behind a black and white stripe one. No doubt, dot, Dr. Dot. That's what I was doing. But I, so I just picked up this print on the black with the holes in it, but it turned out kind of cool. So I did use a hunk on there. Let me get this out of arm's way. Um, that had a whole mishmash of stuff in it and, the green blue PBO was amongst those, which you can see in that shimmer, right? Um, this is the black deli, and that's a uh, silver black ink that I put on there. Which that's what that's what that gray shimmer is that you see underneath, and you can see where I was picking up some of the holes that were left behind on that print. You can see shadows of them down here, and actually that one light blue one that I said I really want to do a collage background with. You can see the the in my camera. You can see the shadows of those holes at different places on here. I like that one a lot. And then this is one of um, P's uh, shadow moves that she calls it with that Uncle Joe's stencil. This I mix the gold and the white. And I mean I don't dislike it. Hey Gail, I don't dislike it, but it's not. Um, as grabby as some of them are. Hey, Norma from Denver. Welcome. I'm not wild about that one at all. That's just sort of indigo. This is kind of cool. And this is on the black deli. That one came up kind of cool. That's got the little bits of foil that I put on my plate that it pulls off. Right. And the white uh, 2.0 and some mermaid tail ink was on that one and i don't know something went in here in a blob i don't know what that was it was blobby oh you know what it was this it was the amsterdam fallow turquoise that kind of blobbed on me and this actually came out kind of cool with the different shadows of shine in there this is on the black deli this yeah I mean, it's gold, it's shiny, it's okay. Not a fan about this one. This was too dark for the black. Although there are moments of genius in it now that I'm really looking at it. Up here at the top, looks kind of cool. So, you know, it is what it is. So let's get this stack over on top of the other stacks. I've got a few more sheets here. I need to everything over. Lord of mercy. Okay. Okie dokie. So I got this. I saw um, Angie on My Fairy Treasures. Hey, Kimberly. Um, that was the Black Deli to collage with. I'll let you know today. I have not done that yet. I got the paper in the other day and came down for about a half an hour playing with it because I couldn't stand it. And um, that's all I've done. I haven't collaged with it yet. So if I do a collage today, I'm going to throw some of that in there. 
Judy from rainy Florida. We're, Florida, we're getting all kind of weird weather today across the country. But um, I saw Ange using this texture plate. It's from Stamperia. I, th I think she calls it a Mayan calendar. And to be honest, I don't, I don't remember what it was called. Um, but it's kind of cool. It's just a texture plate. So I thought maybe we throw that one around there. Um, and where's my jelly plate? Here she is. Already got this. You wouldn't think that's brand new, would you? Oh, it's got a little bit of silver left on there. So let's uh, let's do something. You know what I'm going to do? Let's try. Let's go with some white on here right off the bat. This is the Stuart Simple White 2.0. Right. This is one of the ones that beat up on the on the plate. And I'm going to put a little mermaid tail ink in there because that's I like that combo. But I also get on there, baby. I also oh, that pink one. I just remembered it was this red spray from the pink ones I showed you earlier. It's all coming back to me now. PM. Hey, Mariah. I'm guessing you're Mariah. <laughs> if not, hello, Patricia. If it's both, hello, p and M. So we're just playing some more. I got some Black Deli in, uh, and I'll show some of that. This, it's not as black as my Bond paper, and it's lighter on the backside, but I think it's going to be okay. It's Jane Davenport. Um, Jan, hang on. Let me show you. Now I see why that was hard. It was cockeyed. It's one of her ink incredible inks and the color is called mermaid tail i got this as one of the items i got on sale at spellbinders they were really cheap that's where i got that gold um water based the gold um crap what is it z the pen that's shaped like a feather quill it calls it a quill pen it's a black brush tip pen um and uh, they're usually $10. They were $3 on Spellbinders. So I wanted to do something else in here, though. And now I lost my little train of thought. You know what? Let's do this. Let's just do this. I'm going to grab a little bit of this Aquamarine for a little something shiny in here. And this gets real watery, this mix. So I don't need a whole lot of that. CB's trying to help you out, Jan. Don't do it. Okay, so this is going to be kind of watery, right? Kind of mix all this stuff in, and we'll see what happens. The white, I want to do its magic and beat up. That's a pretty color, though. Hey, Lizzie Bass. My Patty, it's me who thinks you're someone else. <laughs> That's all right. A lot of people think I'm somewhere else. Sometimes I hope I'm someone else, but sadly, I'm still me. This is a cool piece right here, CB. That looks like a good CB stash piece right there. Let me let me tear that off for you. There we go. That's got a little bit of PBO in there. See, this is not, um, it's not beating up like the way it was. Maybe there's too much on the plate. Let me just, for gigs, let's spritz it with a little bit of water. Now, I got to pay attention to what paper I put down there because if it's real thin paper. Hey, is that Marsha? Just joining, saw you on IG. I know. Check out uh, Marsha, um, see MC Egan up here. Uh, check her out on Instagram. She's got some um, digital paper she's selling. She did an indigo set. I love the circle ones. They came out really cool. Let me, what am I doing here? I'm trying to zoom in a little bit. See, I'm not getting so much. I'm going to sit here and wait it out a little bit and see if, um, you know, I wonder if, did we ever try hitting it with the heat gun? To see if that would expedite the process. 
the white did always take longer to beat up, but I got, I used to get more finer pinholes. I'm going to put this on cool. Yeah, that's cool. I'd blow it right in my hand. And this baby will melt paint. Let me see if this will speed the process up here. Oh, I can see some of it blowing around. The ink moving in between the paints. Watch it all just dry and stick to the plate. Paint plate permanently. My dentures are slipping. <laughs> See, that's not, that's still not doing much there. Oops, hang on. Let me, I, I'm going to take a piece of this black deli. And I'm using it on the dark side. The dark side. And I'm just going to let it lay there and pick it up to get some of this off of there. Whatever sticks, sticks. I'm not even going to touch it. It's going to let the weight of the paper. Oh, look at you. You see? You can't hate that. It's just very watery looking. Now I'm wondering if this, now that it's not so thick, alcohol. Okay, let me try it. Oh, Lord, it's rolling up. See, that's one thing. That's not good about this thin paper. Some of them do tend to roll up. Try to, and look, right off the bat, pull number one, smurfed. Um, I know I have alcohol spray. Let's see what happens. Oh, there's a big smear of paint on my computer <laughs> where it rolled up on me. That'll come right off eventually. So it is it is moving around a little bit more, right? I'm going to pick that up before it's like permanently on there. And this paper is 9 by 12, which is, oh, shoot. You know what? You guys are slipping on me. I wanted to put this in it and see what it came out when it was watery. Now I got to do it again. I'm good. I'm good, Marsha. I am. Um, symptoms I had were really mild, and only I really had them for a couple of days, and I skipped a couple of days, and I had it another day. Um, but I've I've been fine. All good. <laughs> I like those wrinkles it gets in it. But these are all like a lot of the same kind of looking stuff. So we got to we gotta switch something up here. So we got that. So I think I'm going to. That's what I do when I'm thinking. Tappity tap tap. You know what? Let's throw some black down here. Yeah, it might be different. Do you, did you ha get these Stuart Semple paints, um, Norma? It's got a lot to do with humidity, I'm sure, especially in the extreme areas where it's one way or the other. And I have no idea. This is my first bottle and my first experiment with these things, so I have no idea what to really expect. But see how much thicker this is now? When at first it was coming out like the white. Let's do that, and let's do a little bit of this in there. This is that mica paste. Let's throw a little thin circle of that in there. And let's just see. There's a lot on the plate, so let's just see. Actually, I'm going to put a little spritz of water in there, see if that helps from the get-go. And then I'm going to pop this bad boy in here a couple of times. That's kind of cute because around the edges, it's got that scroll work. Oop, it slipped. It's very slickery.
remember when I first used this, it held a shadow of the imprint of whether it was whatever it was on there, stencil, stamp, whatever. So this one you can see it's beating up more. And I think it might be beating less at this point because of the gold I put on there and the white that was already on there. Kind of interesting looking though. Let's pull this up with um, a piece of deli since I got the black paint on there. I think you want to shake the Stuart Simple paints really well. I shook them as much as they're going to shake. I was shaking them before I came on and beating the crap out of them actually. I'm going to take this off and kind of look in there. Whoops, not so much. I wonder if I have a long... Oh, I need a skewer. A skewer! Hang on. Oh, Jesus. I'm going to hit my head on the camera. Let's try taking a skewer and getting in there and stirring it up. We'll see if that makes any kind of a difference. Let's get this up. Oh, that's kind of cool. Little turquoise bits come up over here off in the end from the mermaid tail ink. You can see a little bit of that texture plate in there. Just kind of a mis mysterious looking circle. Crap circle. Yeah, maybe it was uh, Mariah. Um, and I, I did shake them then too. But And then when the white was like that, I assumed the white and the black were just runny, which, you know, was okay. But I really liked how they really beat it up. because So I got to figure out, like, what would make it do that again? What could I add to the paint? That's unusual for Seth spray, Lizzie Beth, to um, to clog. I don't. I haven't had any of his that have clogged. But you know, he says that when you shake them, not to shake them up and down, to sh roll them in your hands like this, to not try to get all the mica up into the spout, up into the stem of the sprayer. All right. Let's see what happens with this. That's a little runnier, I do believe. Um, what do I want to put in there? Something shiny. I guess we're going to have to go with one of these inks. Let's go with this holiday blue. Fluid matte medium. I'll try a little bit of that. All right. This is the Dye Mine Happy Holidays Shimmer and Sheen ink that was in there. Um, what's that? Ah, why can't I say the name of what calendar it was? The calendar that you have for leading up to Christmas. What is that called? Oh, that's that's going better. Why Advent calendar? Good Lord. Lot of mess in there. Let's try to pop one of these somewhere in here just for giggles. I know I double dipped it there, but I had a big old thumbprint in it where I smeared the ink and I didn't want that to show. I'd rather have the blurry circle. 
on there. All right, let's um, let's put that on a piece of uh, glassine. It was in my head. It wouldn't come out. Patty, what is that stamp? It looks interesting. It's a texture plate by Stamperia. Now that it's black, you can kind of see it a little bit better. It's, I think, um, My Fairy Treasures, Angie was using one on her jelly plate. I thought, oh, I like that kind of stuff. And I found one on eBay. Um, I, she, I think she referred to it as a Mayan calendar, but it's a Stamperia texture plate. I like this stuff to kind of wrinkle up the paper. Then where these little mountains are, it leaves that on the plate, whatever that is underneath of there. Hey, Darcy. Soft molds, is that what they're called, Z? Still leaving a lot on the plate. That's okay. Whoa. Oh, that was the wrong paper to pull that up on, I guess. That's just like a big old blob of black. Well, you can see the ridges of that stamp in it. That's strange. I can see some of the sheen as this ink dries. There's some gold that's coming through. I'm going to let this lay somewhere. And remind me to go back and look at that. Um, let me see if I can pick this up. Get some of this off of there. This is um, a Lucas and Arctic. Really pale turquoise. Can't hate that. And what I want to, you know, I don't know what this is supposed to be for, but I thought I'd try it because it sounded interesting. It's um, fluorescent reflex white. Anybody got a clue? It comes out kind of transparent. And when I put it on a piece of black paper and just wipe my finger with a black piece of paper on there, it um, it almost turned like a clear bluish, like it almost looked like a masking fluid was on there. It was strange. Stuff. Um, is that all I want to put on here? We'll just see what this does. Will this clean the plate with just this color? And it's going to pick up a lot of that ink and make it a, a blend of lovely colors. But I don't know if this will be a good paint for cleaning the plate. I am not aware if this will work like the Goldens. I don't know what the binder is in here. I'm not familiar. And I'm going to grab a piece of glassine for that because that's really strong. Strong like bull. So we'll see if this will help yank any of that up off of there. Oh, you know what, Evie? I have high flow. And I was watching a video today. I was watching Jody Ohl um, do a canvas. And she uses a lot of the high flows. I've taken a few classes with her over the years. I just love her. She's so much fun. Um, and uh, she got me into some high flows. And I'm going to go grab a couple right now. Thank you for saying that. Funny, I was just watching that today. Oops. There was a market for used boxes. We'd be in business. Okay, white, iridescent pearl, silver. This is black. Is that black? Carved with black. I got a whole bunch of colors. I 
Let's just grab, grab a couple of these for now. See what kind of damage we can do with those. Hey, Martha. Refix Flex Blue in printing is a commonly used blue, but I think it refers to how reflective it is. Yeah, and this says it's, how do I put it? It says um, it was in the with the fluorescence. It's fluorescent reflex white. And I thought, is it just like real white, white? I wasn't sure what made it fluorescent unless it glows in the dark. Hey, Brad. I have my little my cart with a few stencils in there, Mariah, and I, I kept I kept stalling because I couldn't find my ten uh, percent code, and then I finally I finally found it. So I laid it next to my well where my computer sits when I'm upstairs, but it's with me now. But now I know where it is. I shall proceed with my order. Well, that's taken a lot off. Still a little smidge there. Oh, look at that. I like that kind of cleanup print with all those different little bits and bobs and little pieces of little areas of gold, little areas of the foil that were on the plate, which I forgot to put more on there. But that's pretty cool. See, there you can see the sheen on it. Can't hate that, people. Okay, let's see this. This has all different colors in it, but I'm, the colors I'm using, I kind of want the gold, not the dark purpley reds and stuff that are in there, which are really pretty, too. I might have to switch up the colors to take advantage of some of those. Oh, Lord. Okay. All right. Let's just, oops, there's a little piece. We don't want to waste that, do we? Okay. Let's try. Um, looks like a big fingerprint in the middle. Yeah. That's from those where it puckers with those other papers on there and then leaves those little ridges. This is fluid, oh no, sorry, high flow. Golden's high flow. This is titanium white. So let's just play with this. Ooh, that's really runny compared to the other one. Let's do this just for gigs. Like I was using the Stuart Simple. You know what, just because we can. Oh no, you know what? Let's throw some dioxazine purple in there. Just a little bit because that one takes over. Let's throw a little bit of that. A little bit of that. And throw a little mermaid ink in there. Mermaid tail. So that's what I was doing on some of those What made it that really beat it up. That gave me that the look. Oh, look at you already. <laughs> look at you. That's starting to beat up a little bit. I just love purple and turquoise together. That's always been my weakness for those of you who don't really know me. <laughs> for those of you that do, they're probably saying, oh, for the love, Pete, are you doing that again? I have. I haven't done it for a while, really. Something that's really hanging on to this prayer. Let me get rid of this. 
Oh crap, that goes in the CD pile. All right, so wonder if I, oh, you know what? Let's do this. That's kind of breaking up kind of cool. Let me use my cracker, crackle roller on there just for giggles. See if that helps or hurts the process. Because God forbid I follow one process through to the end. <laughs> I got to mix it up so that I can never figure out what the hell I put on there. But that's okay. That's all right. See, it's getting a pretty good holes in it. And the, and the crackle did put a little something, something in there. Let's throw this in there. I'm going to wiggle it a little bit so it gets through the paint. Yeah, that's a little bit better of an impression. Oh, well, let's put three of them on there. Why? Because we can pick up with Golden's Quinn. Um, oh, so you see the um, holes through it in, the, in the, the Golden, though. But then I'd have to let this dry on there. You mean pull this off with something and then go back and just put Quinn down and pull it up on, with Quinn over it. But that, that's going to churn this stuff green. If it lays over it. I don't know. Let's see. Okay. So let's. Um, what kind of paper? Let's. I guess let's keep going with the glassine craze. Or do I want to just use my white deli? Let's just use my deli. I don't want to put it on the black if we're going to um, put that azo gold on there. But this will be a good find for those of you who like that look. But, um, you know, $29.99 is out of your budget. I think that's out of everybody's budget. But I'm just stupid enough to try it because I just had to. Because, guess, let's ask PM why I got it. Should we? Sent you a code if you want to give it out. Uh, where did you send it? Um, Okay. Facebook. Okay. All right. Let me shimmy over there. There we go. Oh, crap. Copy. Why is it not letting me copy it? There we go. I think this touchpad on my Mac is getting a little touchy. <laughs> okay. Here is what I'm going to put in here is the code for PM Artist Studios for 10% um, off. Patty TP 10. Like Tolly Parish, Patty, or maybe toilet paper. I don't know. We're going to go with Tolly Parish. Patty TP10. And if one of the mods could put the link up to their um, their website, that would be awesome. Or if you're on iPads or something and can't, let me know and I'll go get it. Good until the end of the year. Woo, doggies. Hey, town. I didn't see you sneak in. Or did I and I already said hi and I forgot? That happens. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. It almost looks like... Um, see this little bit up here? That looks almost iridescent. And it's not... Um, there must have been something left on the plate that's doing that. Now, Kathy, you're saying put put the Nicolazo down and then pick it up over this. I might do it again because this one's really cool. I don't think I want to hurt this one. 
I don't want to give this one a boo-boo. It doesn't come is it doesn't work. <laughs> so I'm gonna go back and try to do what I did and then I'll do it. Or should I you know what I'm gonna do? I'm not gonna do that. Let me do it the opposite way. Right? I think that'll be good, Kath, if we do that. Put the orange down first, the quinacridone after. Hey Ann. Quinacridone nickel azo gold. Let's put this down. This is transparent. It's probably way too much. That's my thing, apparently. Really pretty orange, which will go awesome with the teal. Kathy is right about that. That's one of my favorite combos. And I think what I'm going to do is pick that up with glassine. Because that's strong enough to withstand multiple pulls. And that's just going to be just the orange down here. Thanks, Brad. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have done some Uncle Joe's on that. Somebody try to keep me under control. Where's Gala? <laughs> I need the bossy one here. No, I wanted you to let dry and then add nickel. You mean let it dry on the plate? Yeah, that would be tomorrow probably. I'll do one at the end of the debt night. I'll let dry on the plate, but you got to remind me. Hey, Susan. Oh, Patty, you can't do links. Hang on. Let me pop over. And look at that. I just have a tab open right to the website because I got my cart full. It's pretty easy. It's PM Artist Studio, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Copy. Come back to chat. Paste. There you go. There's the website, and you got. Oh, thanks, CB. You can um, use that code I put in chat a little bit earlier. Patty TP10 for 10% off the stencil orders. Good till the end of the year, even. You're welcome. There's more new ones as of like today. PM artist. Yeah, you put artists plural. No, no, you put artist one. It's it's artists plural. No. Artists. No, it isn't. What are you talking about? Driving me crazy. Oh, you mean after the slash? It'll probably still work. That would have been cool with some Uncle Joe's in it. But am I that smart? No. Okay. There's that. And see how these two colors look together? That's yummy. So now, let's see. And I think, I think what's going to happen if I pull it up wet again, that that turquoise is going to turn to um, green against the, the Nicolazo gold. That's what I think. We'll see. The Lord knows I've been wrong before. Now, what did I put in there for the turquoise? Does anybody remember what the hell I did? Was it the mermaid? It was the mermaid, wasn't it? Or was it? A little bit of this. Dioxazine purple. Five more today. Holy macaroni. Was any of those the mermaid tail? Oh, Z, your mermaid's out there. Holy rackle. Look out. Xander's going to knock everybody out of the way. To go grab her mermaid. <laughs> Be right back. She can't even spell that right because she's in such a panic to get over there. Yeah, and then some mermaid ink. Okay. 
And now, let's just see what happens. And I'm half tempted to put a little something shiny in there. The PBO is so thick, it's not going to blend with this watery stuff as well. Maybe I ought to just let it roll. Let it roll like it is. Oh, look at you. Oh, look at you. Taking a little bit more of that off of there, but already starting to separate. So let's let's put a couple little pops of this in there again. Even if they're not full circles, we'll put a little shadow in there. Remember, even though I'm a genius, I'm like, <laughs> uh, oh, you found the mermaid ink at Tuesday morning. Good for you. All right, and let's put this, try to line this puppy up as well as I can on here. And I think it's going to turn green. But I think if it was dry, like CB, I mean, uh, like uh, Kathy was saying, remind me, we'll I'll leave one on the plate at the end of the day. Let's have a peek. Well, it didn't really. Oh, it's not picking up very much now. Yet still interesting. You can see how the circle, the little crop circles are in there, but they're very obliterated. But you can still see the circle. Let's put something over that that's going to be shiny. Um, you know what I'm going to do? Just for gigs, because I can, I'm going to put a little more dioxazine purple in there. I love dioxazine purple. And I'm going to put, we're going PBO. I know it's thick and this is runny. Just a little bit, get a little bit in there. I wish they come out with other PBO Dyna colors. And let's, you know, let's just do a little bit of this. Just because I feel like it. Couple little blobs. Oh, let's put down some foil. <laughs> paint to paint is hard. Paint to paint is hard. Did I miss something? I think I have a jar of these. Xander sent me a few jars of this stuff. And I believe, let's just use some of that too. Oop, that's coming off in big pieces. I usually like those little teeny weeny pieces on there. Well, whatever it is, it is at this point. When you pull the last print with the one you'd already pulled the paint. Oh, 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 gotcha. Okay, is that going to be enough? Probably, we'll see. Looks like Mardi Gras. But see, now I remember this is the um, foil that gives you boogers on your brayer. See, and it's all coming off on here. And it's on the brayer. Oh, well. What does that look like? Oh, let's Uncle Joe this one. Uncle Joe's now a verb. <laughs> there but it's really light all right let's see what happens 
see what happens. Let's see, am I missing anything in chat? Wait for the last one. Finn, I think they do a green one. I think they do a green one. Um, I must have missed something. Oh, Mariah's getting fancy on me. <laughs> oh, sure. Talking another language, so I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> That's okay. I don't think there's enough shine in there to pick it up on black. Let's pick it up on Billy. I don't know why, just because it's here looking at me. I'm going to copy that sentence, that phrase, and drop it in a translator. <laughs> Cool. Good old Uncle Joe. Okay. Um, let's see. I want to change. I, I hate to do it, but I know everybody gets bored with my blues. Let's um let's change it up a bit. Let's try some of this white again. Oop. Oh, or the pearl. <laughs> oh, you know what? Maybe that's what I did. Maybe I mixed up. Oh, you know what? I probably did when I got this one here that I said it looks like it had some some iridescence in it. I bet that's what it was. I bet I pulled out. That was a happy accident. Because this the white I have in the big bottle. And the pearl is in the little one. I bet that's what I did. Okay, let's do that. And let's do a little green gold. And just a little teeny tiny bit of this green ink. This is another... Um, This is a, what the hell is this, 350? So this is a J. Irvine. It's a 350 series. Now, what the hell that is, I don't know. But it's called Ver, like Verde Atlantide. It's all covered up with ink. I can't really tell. To be honest. Oh, it looks better on camera than what I can see it. But 350, not sure of the significance. Finn, Patty has the orange, blue, and green. Not sure what others do. Orange, blue, and green, what? Oh, the PBOs? Is that what you're talking about? I got all the Dynacolors. So if you want to see one in particular, raise your hand. Yeah, that I knew. I thought it was going to say Verde, but it says you know, V-E-R-T. Okay. Oh, look at this beading up. Wow. It's really juicy, too. Wow, look at that. That's disappearing in front of my own eyes. I'm going to grab a piece of rice paper for that. I don't know why, but it's almost gone. And that's what the black 3.0 was doing at first. That's how it was. It was like beating up. Hey, Deb. It was beating up into that, which looked really cool, actually. So let's grab. Is there something else more interesting I want to put that on? Let's just start here. We'll make this an underlayer. And this, the green ink was shimmery, and the pearl, of course, is 
shimmery. I found the mermaid inks on Spellbinder during the warehouse sale. They were one or two dollars each. Can't beat that. I'm waiting. Oh, I got a tickle. It's Jane Davenport. It's called Incredible Ink. I N K for incredible, ink, credible, incredible. And it's the color of the one I'm using is called Mermaid Tail. Um, did anybody want to see a different color of PBOs? Look how shiny that is over where that's real liquidy over there. And, of course, it's going to tear because why? Because I put it on rice paper. That's why. All right. Let's lay, lay you right there. And I got a little more shimmery, shimmy shine stuff on here. Um, let me, hang on. I have, this one, this one. Blue green, blue black, violet blue, red blue. I think I, that's all the dinos that I have. I have other PBOs, but they're not dino. I have just the regular gold, regular silver. I have this one. Now this one's really cool, but it is some sticky business on the plate. So here's some other ones that I have. Xander, do inks have a set? Oh, hang on. I'll snort the mermaid tail one for you. I can't, I can't tell that they, they do actually. I think some of her stuff does. But that one doesn't smell too much. Ahmed, hi. Welcome. Let's see if it says anything on here that maybe I'm the sniffers. Not the best with all these other chemicals I'm inhaling. Um, so this is the blue, violet blue. It's violet paint with blue shimmer. That might look cool over that. This one is red paint with blue shimmer. It's hard to see it on camera, but it is. And this one is orange, yellow. This is one of the ones that I use with the green, yellow. The green, yellow to make the bronze, right? These two make orange and green will make a neutral, which comes out brown. And of course, it's metallic, so it comes out shiny brown, which looks like bronze or shiny baby poop depending on how you want to look at it. Now, my favorite one is green-blue. Green paint with the blue in it, and that's what I've been using. But this one's blue-green, and you can see the difference in the tube. Right? You can tell the difference. And you can really see the difference if you use them both on black. Maybe we'll use both of them on a pull. This one, what the hell is this? Bindex Dyna Iridescent Green. So I guess this is like an interference color. That may be in her. Oh, that may be good on this with this. Let's try these on there with that. So this is the one that's interesting. It's a PBO, and some people say PEBIO. Blue Parma Iridescent. Um, but it's a studio gouache. And it is like snot on the plate, I'm telling you. But you can see trying to get some up against the window there. You can see it's like blue with a pink shimmer in it. So I guess whatever Parme is, it's some kind of pink. So, um, yeah, I've heard people say Pebio. I don't know if we said PB. Oh, and here's the black blue. Blue black, sorry. Blue paint with black shiny stuff. 
So if anybody wants to see any of those in particular, let me know and I'll show them shimmer and gouache. Well, I've never, oh, I guess I have seen gouache in the two, but not acrylic stuff. Let's do something green on here. Let's put this green yellow on here. And let's do some of this uh, iridescent green, which I do believe is kind of an, oops, oh, great, that all, <gasps> Lord of mercy. Um, that shot all the way around this hand. <laughs> let's move that around a little bit. You can see the green in there when I smear it around. And on my fingers, well, look how pretty that is. I'm calling it gouache because it's more matte, yeah. It's matte, all right. So um, now that I'm in for it, let's just let's do some of that, shall we? So I don't think I need any more paint on there. Let's just have at it that way. We'll do a little, a little bit of a schmear, and what's what's Uncle Joe? It? Did you come out with new um, sugar biscuits? Watch your language, Mariah. <laughs> um, new Uncle Joe's? I know I put in that request. Let's just drop this one right in there, just for giggles. All right. What do we got there? So I'm going to quickly pull this. And it, may, it may be too late already. We don't know. We'll see. Pull this on black because it's all kind of shiny. And the interference... Uh, well, of course, maybe it's going to be too green. Ramo, what's what are we talking about here? Oh, is that a person? Hang on. No, it's no PM. It's Pebio gouache line, basically opaque watercolor. Super macabre. I guess that means matte. Hang on. Let me get this pulled before I start reading the label. And if you don't watch, P will make a new Uncle Joe. I ask for some in like squares or triangles or something. Just so we get a little bit of variety. Uncle Joe and Aunt Marge, maybe. Oh, look at that that came off of there, that green. For you green lovers. All right, now let me look at this real quick. What's it say? Studio gouaches concentrate and opaque. Colors remain vivid after they have dried. The paint is rich and fine. Gouache is great for any illustration or decoration work. I don't see where it says acrylic, and I don't see where it says watercolor. Opaque and rich colors. I'll show you what that looks like on the plate next, though. <laughs> Ooh, it's leaving some good stuff on the plate still. Yeah, it did get dry. But that speckledy bit with black breaking through it is kind of cool. Can't hate it. Oh, look right where the right where that Mayan calendar plate was, kind of thing. Well, you can't hate that. You see the gold from the green yellow. Right, the green with the yellow iridescent is showing up gold there on the black. That's pretty cool. All right. So, oh, we still got this. Look at that. Still got that on uh, the plate. 
trying to get to show you what it is. You can't really see it, but it's like the whole Mayan thing there. So I want to pick that up. Maybe I'll pick that up. You know what? I'm going to do something crazy. I'm going back to Arctic. I know um, Patricia said she didn't like the caps on these um, Lucas bottles. I don't really mind them. I left mine attached. The first one I forgot and cut off. And then I remembered I had another bottle of it somewhere. And I left it on this little thing so you don't lose it. But what made it really hard at first is when I used scissors and cut this, it made the top oblong. And it was really hard to get that first one on when I did the indigo. That one was really hard to get on there. So when I did this one, I squeezed the scissors to cut it. And then I turned it and I squeezed them again and tried to round it out. And then this one works pretty good. That goes on there pretty easy, actually. Okay, so let's try to pick this up. And you know what? Oh, no. Avalanche. Let's, just for giggles, go put a little dioxazine on there. These are stuck on. You got to bite them off. Let's put a little purple in there, too. Purple, green, and turquoise. How bad could that be, honestly? So much paint on there. Clearly the answer is never because I've been doing jelly platings for about 10 years. <laughs> Maybe longer. <laughs> no, I think it was 2013. Is that when I first started doing videos? Oh, I don't remember. Well, I was doing it before I started videos, but whatever. Let's see. What's it looking like? I don't know. That might not have been the way to go. But we're there, so let's just do it. And you know what? I'm going to use a piece of this black deli. This is the gray side. The black side's down. Hey, Travis! Good to see you in chat again, huh? This is really slippery on the back, too. You can feel here how that's slippery. When did I start? Five? Yeah, five. Oops. Well, apparently that cap has turned around a little bit. All right, let's see what we got here. Probably going to be subtle. Er? Yeah, not great. Not great. Maybe shouldn't have put it on the black. Probably should have had a darker color to pick it up with and put it on white paper. I mean, it's there. It's kind of cool, but it's not as pow as I thought it was going to be. And this stuff rolls when it's wet. Trust me when I tell you. Um, so let's try this on the plate. And let's... I mean, it's it's... You'll see when you try to roll it, it, see what it does? It's pretty, but look what it does. It just kind of like mountains and peaks on there. He's snotty. 
but it's pretty snot. I don't know, is there such a thing? I guess there is. Oh, you know what? Let's do this. Let's do something. Um. <laughs> Let's do some just pops of this on a piece of black paper. Hey, Colleen. Amy, I mean, uh, Jamie. Hello, darling. Not so much. So that just looks purple on the blue. I mean, on the black paper. Not as impressive as what was in my head. But let's grab this. And it's probably going to already be dry. But let's try this on a piece of black paper and see if we get any shadows that will matter. Too easy to use them in your gel plate. Okay, what does easy have? Easy have Arteza metallic gouache. I don't have that. Oh, you know what I wanted to do though? You said Arteza, and that rang a little dingling bell. So hang on. I gotta try to get some of this paint off of here. Still kind of wet. Yep, hardly anything came off. <laughs> Well, I have this um, PBO, PBO Studio Gouache. It's kind of cool. It's kind of blue with a pinkish shimmer. So I was showing everybody how thick it is. It's really thick. I mean, the plate, the plate, the paint sticks to the brayer and pulls up in peaks as you roll through it. I just rolled this one out. So it comes out a lot more purple than you'd think, which, I mean, that's not bad, but... Again, not what you think you're going to get out of this, even though it's on black. Interesting. So does anybody want to see any of the other PBO colors? Um, hang on. I'm going to do something. I'm going to do something. Uh, you know what? And Jackie stencils right here. I'm going to use her... Oh. This, I think it's called, it's called some kind of stones. I love this. And I'm going to put down black. Just black. Just regular old black. You can still see some of that purple shimmer coming off here, which that's okay. I'll make it even more interesting. All right, let's put this one down. Right, and I'm going to pick this up with jelly. And all I'm doing is wanting, I'm going to clean out the holes. I did a patina print a uh, week or so ago, and I call it patina print. So you just put down black, not too thin of a layer, not too thick of a layer, and you just want to try to clean the holes of the stencil out. Oh, crap. And not do that. It would be best if you didn't do that. <laughs> I did not do the blue-black. I will, though. All right. So. All right. Now, that still has a lot of black in there. I'm going to try to get that out of there because it won't work if there's still if there's no open spaces. And see, there wasn't that much black on there, but that really... Still showing up there. Let's see if that goes. There we go. 
now we go. See how the you can see the holes, right? So now I'm going to pull the stencil off. And I'm going to put down the blue, black, and the blue, the green. I'm sorry. The blue, green, and the green, blue. So it'll be a subtle difference, right? That's the blue, green, and this is the green, blue. This one's my favorite. Let's see if you can see the difference when they smoosh together. See the difference on the plate? One's blue paint with green shimmer, and the other one is green paint with blue shimmer. But they do look different. I'm going to take off the excess, like so, so it doesn't kind of blur the image. And there's still a lot down here. I'm just letting the weight of the brayer go across it. I'm not, I'm not pushing on it at all. Just letting it pick up whatever it wants to pick up. And then... We shall pick it up. I'm going to grab a piece of glassine. This is really sturdy paper to pull this stuff. And it does glue together okay. Thanks, Travis. Blue, black, and orange would really pop. I can try that, but I'm pretty sure that's going to go kind of muddy. But we shall do it. What color was that gouache again? It was called Blue Parm Iridescent. The label's kind of, it's kind of stamped on there. And then, there we go. It's number 362. I'm interested to see how this is going to look through the black rather than on the black. There, so you can see that there's definitely a difference. The lighter one of the two, that's the blue-green. The more turquoise one, like through this area and down here, that's the green-blue. I mean, you still can't hate it. And then, oh, look at this good stuff to pick up here. And that's got some of the PBO in it. Mm -mm, mm -mm. What am I going to do with you? Oh, somebody said blue-black. What do I want to do with this first? So there's a good bit of PBO on there. Sometimes just pulling this up with the Titan buff. Makes a lovely cleanup print. I think that's what I'm going to do. But do I want to mix it? Let's just for shits and giggles, as we do. I don't want to sing here or anything. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of this Britannia Silver. And then I'm just going to use the regular old tight and buff Goldens fluid. This is a really, oh, you know what? I heard saw somebody just said orange. I did do some, um, I didn't do the orange PBO yet, but I did do some Nicolazo gold for an earlier poll. And I bet that would look cool on here for this side. So let me try to find. Where did I put it? I'm going to put it back. But it's not there. So that means it's somewhere around this vicinity. Oh, where did I put it? Oh, here it is. The orange PBM is pretty. That's the one I was talking about. The orange, if you mix it with... Um, The green, yellow, and the orange, yellow, they mix together and become baby poop bronze, metallic baby poop, which is actually lovely. I need a new spot over here. Try 
right at them. It's in Delhi. Just to try to clean up a little bit. And I think that orange would look cool with those blue green PBOs. I've got to make a, an adjustment over here. Which is getting big. Quite the mess. See if you might be able to do something with that one. I don't know. You know what I mean? Look at all the boogers coming off of there. That's that damn rock. <laughs> um, that one foil that I put on there that goes on the big hunks. All right. Let's see what we got. Eminem. Hello, dear. See what we're going to get. This really usually cleans up the plate pretty well. And it did. <laughs> Look at you over here. Can't eat it, people. That is a stunner in person. It's got some of the that gouache. See the purple over here? That's still a little bit of that gouache coming off the plate. I do not hate that. That may be coming to a collage near you soon. Pull of the day, right? I know. Isn't that? It's, it's just good. It's just nice. Okay, now what was I going to do? You wanted to see the PBO orange, um, Jamie? With anything in particular or just whatever I do with it? Oh, I know what I'm going to do with it. <laughs> Let's see. Notice how she overlooked my dibs. Orange in the pin. Orange in the pin. Oh, pink. <laughs> what the hell pin are you talking about now? Dibs and pins and I'm getting all kind of discombobulated. Okay. White. So this is orange yellow. This is violet blue. So the orange and the blue is probably going to go brown and the pink and who knows what that's going to be. Let's just see. <laughs> that's, that hurts my head. I'll use the blue black, Susan. Um, somebody don't let me, don't let me not use it. Don't let me do it. Um, so I want to put a little bit of this in there with the orange. What the hell? Just a little drop or two. Oh, and you could use some of the ink you didn't use the last time. Oh, Lord, what didn't I use the last time? <laughs> Can you be more specific? <laughs> Just a little bit. Put that up. Whatever's left in there. Put that the ink I didn't use the last time. What the heck was that? Do you remember? One of the pretty bottles. Okay, here goes nothing. Oh. I don't hate that. Look at that orange and the pinks coming out over here. And you see little streaks of purple in it from the, the red one with the blue. I'm going to let that bubble up a little bit. And that's got white in it, so that's kind of dulled down, right? 
but that's got this ink in it too. This is the J. Irvine 1670. It's rouge something other. It's got gold and orange uh, shimmer in it. It's really beating up over here more than over here. I didn't know why. So do I want to throw a stencil in there and let something happen to it? Let's try the Uncle Jojo. Come here, Uncle. Let's try to break this up a little bit. Just a little bit. Wow, that's really kind of went a little crazy. I don't know if we pick that up on black. Do we pick it up on just regular deli or black seam? I don't know. Something's telling me to pick it up on black. Both are PBOs plus the shimmery ink. So it should be enough shine in here to play off of the black. Here's the cleanup. There it is. Simpatico. Another big word. I'm going to look it up. Guadalupe. Oh, thank you. Welcome. That's a new name. I always like seeing new people in chat. I like seeing the old people in chat, too. All right. See what we got. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, we got a little raccoon something, something going on there. Oh, hello, lover. Look at you. Now, when people go out and start buying this stuff and tell me I'm an enabler, I'm going to remind you that people requested to see this. Holy crap, that looks cool. That is very raccoon-y. It's a word. Look it up. Ah. Uh, <laughs> and Uncle Joe did not do it any harm. That is lovely. Okay. Can't hate that, people. So, blue-black. And what am I going to do with that? Do I want to just do it with some white? And maybe some of the pearl or a little silver. I mean, I could just do it in blue black, but if you want to see the true color of it, but you know, I don't usually do normal things. And here's a big piece of gold. Let's see, we can do this. With little tiny little peppers, pepper sprinkles of gold. That's what I like. up here and there. Okay, so blue black. Do we want to put it with a little Arctic? Violet or red? The, the, the high flow to me? Red. So this is blue, black. This is red, blue. These two? What the hell? Let's just do it. Who thought that was going to come out as cool as it did? Not I, but that's, see, that's why I keep you guys around. <laughs> I'd be running out of ideas sitting here by myself. But when the idea people are here with me, up with stuff. Okay, let's do this. With the white. This is the high flow. High flow. And let's do a little 
this. I'm going to try to do it like I did this one. I'm going to one area with the blue black. So you can kind of see it when it when I'm rolling it out so you can kind of see what it looks like. And this you did see. All right. Excuse me. All right. Now I want to throw in an ink. Ink a dink a do. So you know what? I have what kind of my turquoise there. Um this one's purple. And with this, this is gonna get kind of purple. Try it with the black. The blue, black, and the black. A little bit of ink, a little bit of chin chin. I'm still trying to think, Mariah, when you said the ink I didn't get to use. I don't know what that I mean I have a I have a ton of inks. That's what I'm using. But I'm I'm assuming that's something that's out here that I didn't get to. If you think of what it is, let me know. So here's the blue black. I'm gonna try to just Brayer that out so you can kind of see what that looks like. It looks very blue, and the way I'm looking at it, you can see, oh, that's ink. I can't, hang on, I can't do that yet. <laughs> Too much shocking, I know. Very shocking. Oh, that's kind of cloudy looking over here. Do, um, let's pop this bad boy in here a couple times. Andrew, are you still here? I got one of these little Mayan cal calendar things when I saw you using it. I thought it was really cool. And it leaves a real vague image on these real fluid paints and inks that I'm using, but it's cool. Oh, look at that. That came out kind of cool. Oh, you know what? I didn't put anything like gold or shiny in there. The ink's a little shiny, but let's, um, you know, what the hell? Let's, let's fill it over. Here's one of the filled paints. Hey, Randy, that I put in a sprayer, which is the Britannia Silver. Oh, you know what? I just thought about. Hang on. I gotta do it while I'm picking. Oh, you mean these new ones that I got recently in the little bag for Dominant Industry? Are they the ones you're talking about? Um, see, these are the ones I just thought about that I had. It's kind of airbrush stuff, I think, but it's acrylic ink. And I think that Schmika recommends it for an airbrush. I never have used it for an airbrush. I like to do it my own way. <laughs> Which, you know. Some of that may or may not show. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. But I'm going to pick that up. With black. I guess. You know what? I'm gonna no, I'm gonna do this because it won't curl as much. This one's gonna be really good. I'm just gonna do this one really lightly because there's still a lot of a lot of stuff on the plate. Is that the one you lost? It's lost. 
Did I lose ink? I know I'm losing my memory, so it's very possible that I lost inks along with that, but I don't know what you guys are talking about. Even this regular paper is schmutz, and that's quite a conglomeration of stuff. I can't hate it. It's not my favorite. The page you think she wanted to show us, but couldn't find them. Today, Amber? Was it today that I was not finding paints? Oh, was it the other day when I was looking for the box and looking for the box? They was, that was the Arctic and the, um, the other couple. Um, uh, yeah, that was the Lucas paints. I found them. They, and you know what? Oddly enough, and I'm going to admit this live and in person, they were sitting. I, I have a big table. It's about five feet long. And it's just a flat table with wide legs on the other side. It's just like a piece of wood that goes this way and two big, like plywood almost. But it's not plywood. They're not legs. It's just a panel that drops down to the floor. No drawers. So I got two of the Alex sets of drawers that are the skinnier, thicker ones that are on either side of me to kind of make a pedestal on each side. So I'm surrounded by stuff. And oftentimes the top drawer, I will um, pull out and sit like this box of deli is sitting on an open drawer. Well, when I sit, when I do that, whatever's underneath that drawer, I can't really see. So for, I don't know, a week or so, I even track the package. And I thought, I don't want that color. If I got it ordered again, I'm going to do it. I don't know what the hell happened to it. And then I came here and almost tripped over it underneath that drawer one day. I thought, you idiot. Ah. It was literally, now sitting, I got a straight shot at looking under that drawer. But do you think I saw it? I did not. And you know, I walked all around my area looking for it. Will that work on regular paper? I know it works on, on watercolor paper, spritz in the back so it doesn't warp or curl. This is just trying to clean some of this off of here. That's kind of an example of the blue black. It's okay. It's it's not one of my faves, to be honest. I don't need it. Um, so this, this is what I meant. So this is called Arrow Vision Space. And I believe it's got a lot of flecks of, of stuff in it. Well, what the hell? Let's just see what it does. So let's do it this way. Let's do it with some. Yeah, let's do it with black. Let's do it with the high flow black. So my phone went off. Okay. So this I'm going to put down. Am I? Is it even open? Dirty. Probably open. No? Or this? Maybe it. Maybe the lining of the lid. I thought the shirt was open as dirty as it is. Where is that back up to shake it? Maybe it's dirty because of my dirty hands. You're washing paper today. <laughs> Okay, there's there's black. That's the Golden's High Flow. This is the Schmincke Arrow Vision in space. It's not in space. The color is space. 
Okay, sometimes I feel a little spacey. Avatar hands again, Patty. I know, right? Oh, these are multicolored this time. All right, let's see. Let's see what this does. Let me get this right in here. Looks pretty clear. I'm kind of really. Anything else in there? Yeah, we're good. Let's just do it. Oh, it's very liquidy. So I'm anxious to see if any of this shows with the black. It's bubbling up. That's Uncle Joe, this rascal. Oh, I'm making it all go by the eye. It's nice and sticky now with all the paint on it. Wow, where'd you go? <laughs> so, um Hmm. You know what? I'm going to pick it up with a piece of the black deli just because it's the size of the plate and a lot of the stuff around the edges is really kind of interesting looking. How close and personal it is anyway. Hey, Amalia! I'm getting a little messy here. Some deli. This stuff is really slippery on this deli. I don't know if it's because it's deli to deli or, or what. Uncle over here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oop, no, don't get those messed up for me. Don't do it. Got some on the edge, but not on the on the body of that one. Oh, I must say so myself. Wendy. Hi, Wendy. That's a new name, I think. If it's not, you know, I got a little lost. But hi, and welcome. Some of the stuff comes up in the edges. I'm going to do another one of those, the red and the pink combo with the purple ink. And some white. Did I use white on that, right? That's pretty cool. Or nothing. <laughs> well, that's kind of a blob of not much, but it could be cool when it dries. A little bit of that Britannia silver is coming through. The blue black, that Parma wash stuff is still coming through. I'm telling you, that was like a booger you can't get off the finger. Not that I know anything about it. I used to sit behind a kid in school. Yeah, this is, that's not my fave, I gotta tell you. For those of you who don't, aren't we can, what do you think about doing an Oreo game on Saturday night? I'm not sure how many will want to do that, April, I mean, uh, Amalia, but certainly can ask. Let's um let's see. That's kind of got a little swirly girly streak over there of purple love. Anybody want to see anything else in particular? Let me let me stick my head back a little further. Oh, you know what? I want to do this. I think this may have been white. 
yeah this may have been one that you were talking about um the early spring um mariah this is the pearl series and of the dominant industry paints it's called early spring it's got like a pinky peach and silver in a like a dark gray and then it looks almost silver when you mix it up well let's see what happens i'm going to throw a little bit of this down in the plate That is that little one is ink, Marcia. That's an ink from a company called Dominant Industry. Um, I think where did I say I got it? Was it Jet Pens? Well, you can just Google Dominant Industry and they will all sell it. Okay, so that's kind of a pearly gray. Hmm. I don't know why, but it's telling me to use my, something inside my head is telling me to use this iridescent green, which I believe is, and it keeps squirting out of the tube. What is up with that? Oop. Quite the paint booger in there. All right, let's see what happens with this. Oh, that's really pale ink, yet shiny. This has got to go over here. This is, this is quite the mess. So this is going to either look really cool or really crappy. But it's beating up nicely. That up with black. Let's see what we got. Jan, I was thinking the same thing, Kathy. Yeah, the heat and the um, my uh, at that point, I'll be about a week and a half out of knee replacement surgery. So the thought of humping it up the stands isn't really appealing. But hey, Dave might go with you <laughs> if you really want to go. He hasn't been to a game for a while. Ooh. Before I commit him, I need to find out what his schedule is, if that's what you do. Um, What do we got? Oh, there's a lot still left on the plate. Huh. That's interesting. Texture. And there's some of that green in there. And the pearl. Let's see when this dries and see if we see any of that pinky peach in there. Let me set this somewhere good it's right in my face right there that would be the best place <laughs> this has to go this is getting to be a mess actually that's kind of pretty cb <laughs> All 
right, let's, uh, let's see. This is still kind of wet. What is that other one that I got? It's dumb. You know what? I'm going to try one of these. I don't know if they're all of them. Okay, painting. Let's try the titanium. That's pretty. It's a really dark, dark, dark purple with shimmer in it. And let's put it with Oh, that's looking cool when it dries. Let's put this. Let's do this. This sounds weird, but I'm going to do it. Let's go with some white. And some of the interference green. Gosh, darn, that comes out of there fast. Oh, most of them, you got to squeeze them to get it out of there. And let's do some of this titanium. This is another one of the Diamond Industry paints in the Pearl series. When I say this is tanzanite. Did I say titanium? It's tanzanite. Pay attention, per girl. Oh, what I meant I must have missed something. Amalia. <laughs> Darn it, I miss I miss missing a guffaw. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that's pretty. That's really wet though. Really, really wet. That's pretty. That's very mermaidy. Oh, look at that. I brayered off on the on that count one. You can't really see it. And my hands are too up a pot right now. That's pretty. I'm gonna tear that off there for you, CB. Oh, that's a big smudge of that, whatever that was. The green, I guess. What's You know what? I'm going to do that on black. I'm going to use my bond paper on that. That was a wet mess, though. A little too much of something on there. Oh, yeah, I ran out of gold flakes. Nickel. Gold and the green stuff would do. Mix together, Kath? Like mix them together with the white and make it liquidy or just, just the two colors? Well, see how wet that was? It's folding over, but look where that mixed with that green. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's not bad. Hey, babe, you back already? Yeah. Did it start raining on them or did they get yeah. finished the game? Oh, more, good. More two. Oh, wow. Okay. You're going to your mother's later. Right? Yeah, I'm going to go see mom tomorrow. I did Okay, good. That's pretty cool, guys. Look at that. Now, what was this? <laughs> it was the white high flow, the interference green PBO. And the tanzanite ink. No white swirl. No white swirl. Would it be raku like? I don't know. There's one way to find out. Hi, Oak. What you doing, Bubba? Here's that one I did with that um, spring ink. It's starting to dry now. 
I don't distinctly see that that peachy pink yet in there. Actually, no. There's a little hue of it, I guess. Can't make the camera pick it up though. Very pale. But this one's kind of cool. Yes, I did. I did not. Actually, I fed him right before you left, hon. That was kind of cool. I do like that interference. I think I might have to see what other interference colors PBOs has. God forbid I'm missing one that I like. This one, I'm going to take this one right now for you, CB. Sacrificing more paper, more paper, but that's okay. Oh, get off of there. Oh, or tear it in half. Hmm. But that's pretty. That's pretty. Okay. Um, Kathy said, free interference and nickel azo gold. To see if that comes kind of wrapped up. Okay, we shall see. Meanwhile, I need to get a little bit more of this off the plate. And this is probably not the paper to use. I'm going to do it anyway. That's rice paper. Oh, the dominant industry ink is five colors. Oh, I'll have to look at it and see what colors they are. Because I need more ink. Uh. Some of this moisture out of there. And you know what? Some of this purple in here may help the raku effect. Right? So let's just go for it. Let's use new. Look how much that comes out of there. That just runs out of there. That looks birdie. That's Uncle Joe, this puppy. Come here, Uncle Joe. I can't wait till Aunt Marge shows up. A little shadow in this one. Sometimes it's really peels off a lot of paint, at least the first time I dip it in there. Sometimes it's just a little shadow. As it is this time. Either way, it's pretty cool looking. Okay, so I guess we should put that on black, shouldn't we? Well, we don't know if this one how raccoony this one's gonna be. The original paint mix I was using for the Raku look was green gold, dark, no, permanent violet, dark, and white. And downpour. Oh, downpour sounds interesting. If I were a downpour, what color would I be? I know who Raku is, just not understanding the reference. Well, I don't know who you're referring to as Raku. I'm talking about my Raku pottery. It's a type of ceramic where they take the, the hot ceramic out of the kiln and they throw it. Sometimes the way I've seen it done was like into a trash can that's full of um, straw and or um, shredded newspapers. And it ignites and you throw crystals on it. And it ignites the papers when it gets in there, and it puts a coating on the um, on the pottery, and makes actually it makes the clay porous. You can't use it for a cup or a vase or anything, but it puts the coolest combination of purpley, turquoise, red, 
orange, bronze colors all over randomly on the pottery. I have a collection here. A few. Um, oh, it's an artist too. Maybe he's the one who developed the Raku pottery. I don't know. But if you come, to, you're going. Are you coming to the cookout, Amalia, before the retreat starts? If you do, remind me, and you can just walk around and see the pieces around. The homestead. Oh, that doesn't look too raccoon but that looks pretty cool. The green iridescent looks almost uh, like a green turquoise where and where it mixed with the Azo gold, it looks more olive green. But there's definitely Uncle Joe is showing up there. But let me show you. Yes, thrown in a garbage can. I've done it. Comes out gorgeous. I don't know. Beauty miss. I've always wanted to do it, but I haven't haven't gotten there yet. But here, I'll show you. I have the paints out here, I think. Here's a permanent violet. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do a, a different Oh, I'm almost out of green gold. I'm going to do it with this white instead of how I did it with the acrylic whites and I try to do it like an ombre kind of thing. Let me do it like I've been doing it. Let's see what happens. See you, Z. Take care, hon. Too much paint. Too much paint. What the hell are you doing? And these are all transparent. Um, all right, let's just go. Let's see what we get. Crooked, but that's okay. It's a circle. So how crooked is it? <laughs> oh, look at that. That came out kind of cool. Um, maybe it needs a little Uncle Joe encouragement. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow, Z. Um, I don't know. Does it need it? That's kind of cool on its own, actually. Let's just leave. I'm going to pick up one really lightly. Let me pick it up. Um, I'm trying to get the deli and I keep grabbing the glassy. Pick up a little bit on the a lot on there still so i'm going to try to get some of that off i'm not even going to push on this whatever it touches it touches now i've got to push it a little bit because it's kind of floating <laughs> that didn't mix enough to really show the raccoonish part of it but here wait 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 now i'm going to bust that up with little uncle joe i think This will help mix the colors a little bit more, too. And give me a piece of this. Thanks for stopping in. I haven't seen Joan for a while. I'm hoping she kind of jumped out to take a snooze because it's late for her end dot.
So look at that where the little bit of the green came up on there. All down through here again. Oh, you know what? All right, if that's what you want to do, let's just go for it. Let's do a little bit of green. And I say that loosely because a lot of that comes out. And let's do a little more of this violet. And <laughs> what do you think? Violet. That's got a green in that way. Maybe that's all we need. Oh, she has a bad headache. Oh, shoot. I'm sorry to hear that. I look like I got a print of my um, my Mayan calendar over there. Let's do something different. A little something different. Let's do a little pictograph action. Why not? Let's just push it on here. I'm just going to push this into the... Give it a little shadow look, which I usually don't do that. Oh, look how pretty my stencil is now. And let's pick that up on... I think black might be lovely. Where's my thing up? Spelling. All right. Hello? Oh, here he is. I normally use deli paper. I like, I like deli a lot for collage because it's so thin. I do use this black um, bond paper in collage. That's like um, printer weight paper. It's Nina Astro Bright in, uh, I get it on, on Amazon. Nina Astro Bright's in the color Eclipse by the Ream. It's like $24, maybe $22 for $500. Um, and, uh, that's pretty thin too, but I just got this black deli. It's not as black as this. This is the lighter side, right? You can see that this is darker, but it's still not this black. And I like it really black when I use black. Oh, Jackson Pollock. Well, not what I saw in my head, but it's not, I don't hate it. See, the problem is that this on the black is just sort of transparent purple on the black. It didn't really give it any shebang on it. Hey, Sherry. So, interesting. Um, I do want to do another stab. This one did come out. A little wackooey, I got to tell you. A little bit in there. So, um, I know it's long, it like two hours. I don't think a collage is going to happen. So, consider my title for this video an error. <laughs> um, What did I do with that one? Do we even remember? I think I had white. Is it white? I'm going to put more foil down there. Let me 
not be foil free. Patty, do you have any black, black tissue? Yeah, I do. I do have that. I do, I do. It won't hold up to a really hard pull, one that's really stuck down to the plate. But it does, it does work. Oh, we use it all already? Okay. Remind me when I come up, I'll order some. Huh? I don't, uh, you can vanilla ice cream. A little bit. Tiny bit. Or did you take another one? Ah, look at you. One of the other reasons I love you to pieces. All right. I won't be too much longer, hon. Black tissue. So, let me. Oh, Lord, I sat too long. Let me find a tissue drawer. Oh, there it is. I'm at it. Grab a piece of gold too. <laughs> okay, so here's the black. Look black. <laughs> All right. And here's a piece of gold that maybe we'll do something. What will we do on here that would be cool? Let me let me think on that one. Make my hot fudge malt. <laughs> you know what I've been hooked on lately? It sounds crazy until you try it. You know how you have a root beer float or a Coke float? Ginger rail float. And it was the, it's the weirdest thing. That an elderly lady that was my ex-father-in-law's lady friend for a while came up from Florida to stay in Philadelphia at their house and that was one of her requests to have as a snack was vanilla ice cream and ginger ale and I thought huh that's kind of weird it's not too bad once you get the hang of it <laughs> okay what am I doing what am I doing black and gold I wonder what I could pick up with the gold I'm guessing that iridescent green wouldn't be bad with what Ah, that's what this crown will do. So I want something kind of transparent. And maybe, oh. You know what? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. And I, I don't know why. This sounds like a good idea to me, but I'm going to do it. I'm going back to Jackie's stencil. And I'm going to... Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put the stencil down first. All right? Let's put the stencil down first. And then I'm going to put down some green, blue, blue, green, and maybe one other one. Which one would I pick? Blue, green... Now this, yeah, this is blue green. A little green blue. Maybe red blue. Or the interference. Oh, maybe the interference green. Because they got. I don't know why. We're just going to do that. And I'm going to mix these up, roll them over the stencil, so that when I pick it up, I'm just going to have the design in paint. So when I pick it up with the gold, some of the gold will still be showing on there, right? And that's going to be a big fat mess. So hang on. Let me do this so I can pull it off. 
Let's see how pretty that is on there. Let's see the little ice cream that is going on. What are you, what are you guys making with ice cream? I love ice cream. How about that coffee ice cream waiting for us in July? The hotel where we have, I do my little retreat. Um, they have a big cafeteria and they have um, a setup where you can self-serve out of five gallon buckets of um, Hershey's ice cream. And one of them is coffee with a little chocolate on there. In my head, this is going to be spectacular. Flat ginger ale. My mom used to give us, are you talking about when you're sick or for your tummy? Yeah, my mom used to give us Coke syrup. She would get it at the pharmacy. They actually sold just Coke syrup. But you had to get it at the pharmacy. You better have it this year. Call and tell them. Oh, I'm not sure if I have that kind of pull, but I'll see what I can do. Like, you don't want 20 some really hacked off old broads that want coffee ice cream, do you? I say, remember the one that was barred from the bar? Now all she wants is coffee ice cream. Can, can we hook her up? Now let's see. Is it either going to be really good or just like, why did you do that? So it ain't bad. Now some of that purple still coming off of there on some of them. See that? It's okay. It's not... Hello, lover. But this may be. See those little shadows on there? That may be. I'm going to let that dry a sec. And what am I going to do with you? I think I got to put it on black. I mean, black paint and pull it off on Deli or. Um... Hey, CB, I saw the sign with the wanted poster at the bar with your picture in the circle and the slash through it. Actually, I have a picture of the picture for evidence, so be careful what you wish for, my friend. Um, yeah, I'm going to pick that up with black on, what's that stuff called? Glassine, I think. Let's see what happens. What's the worst that can happen? I love rolling out black paint. It rolls out in brayers the easiest and the best. I don't know what it is. I don't care what the brand is. The black just rolls out so lovely. I don't know why. Big hunks of foil on there. Big boys. It's okay. That's okay. So I'm going to pull that on glass scene. Now, what am I going to pull on the black tissue? Patty, along with the security camera film from the. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I don't recall such an incident, which should be mentioned. Damn cameras. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I know you'll love me deep down, CB. <laughs> oh, mercy. Stories I'll tell my grandchildren one day. Or somebody's grandchildren. Now, if this comes up the way I think it will, it will kind of be like a reverse patina print. Maybe. 
can just feel this feels like it's gluing itself to the paint. This really is sturdy and uh, pulls off really nice, generally. I mean, any paper, no matter what it is, if you got too much paint on there, all you're going to do is pull off the first layer of paint. It's not going to pull off the stuff on the plate that you want. <laughs> Tam may be working on some other uh, polymer clay adornments for old salt in the hallway. The decor. Someone, maybe I shouldn't say Tam, that's kind of the accusatory, probably the CB. Somebody, was when we did polymer clay one year, was making wooden pet legs for a, an old salt statue decoration in the hallway. And, I don't know, did you give him a bird on his shoulder or something? Or, CB, ah, should have known it. Oh, I don't hate that. Look at you. Interesting. And that pretty much cleaned my plate. So I think we're going to call that a wrap for now. That's going to take about a half an hour to clean up. Janet, hi. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. And this was kind of a Another one of my short notice streams. I think I had about 45 minutes notice out there. Maybe a little more. That's just the way my life goes anymore. Hey, you can catch the recording. And then you can speed through the parts that you don't really want to, want to watch or hear. <laughs> that may be the way to go anyway. Right, let me try to fix this a little bit off of here. Lord have mercy. Okay. Oh, I didn't do the black tissue. Darn it. Now I gotta can't go away without doing that. So you know what I want to do? That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a couple colors of gold. We use this Britannia silver. I should say metallic, not. Oh, you're welcome, Dot. I'll do it just for you. Little Britannia silver. Oh gosh, that's a lot of silver. Come on. And let's do some gold. Oops. See, when I'm stacked up with this much stuff, it dominoes when it fights the dust. And let's put a little, let's put a little different colors on here. That's kind of a minty green. That's good. For enhancing. In your opinion. <laughs> oh, and you know what? Let's put that's gonna be too much bag on paint. Just a little bit in the interference green. I'm starting to like that. I'm gonna have to look and see the colors they have. Probably have interference green, interference blue, interference purple. Now look at that over those colors now. And this isn't going to separate on the plate like the other stuff did. But now, what do I want to put on there? Do I want to Uncle Joe it? Let's Uncle Joe that. Let's get some of those shadows in there. Oop, I flipped it. That's okay. All right. Oop. And everything stuck to everything. All right, let's put a little piece of black to see you on there. How wide is this? Not wide enough. We want to go this way. And I don't know if this is going to be strong enough to pull this off. So here's an experiment in faith, sacrificing me and my jelly plate for the sake of experimentation because of a request. <laughs> you could already see that design through the black tissue. 
I want to pick up a lot, but I know it's not going to withstand a big, strong print. That's doing pretty good, though. That's not bad. Oh, look at you. Look at you. That's kind of pretty. And that's on that thin tissue. So, now that we know we can get away with that, let's do one more. I have one more piece of black tissue out here. See those look those big boogers of this. That's what the tongue up in the plate. Oh well. Oh, you know what? Oh no, that's not. Well, it is transparent, but it wouldn't show up good on the I'm just think, I'm thinking out loud, just spitballing here. <laughs> um yeah, it doesn't go through the back. Oh, yeah, Liz, it didn't go through. I think it was really the wet with the liquidy stuff. It certainly would, but yeah, I like black papers. I got another deli paper. Hopefully it will arrive at some point that is um, bigger pieces that are black. And I'm hoping they're real blackity black, black, like I like them. Black, I like them. <laughs> um, okay. So that was gold, Britannia silver, and a little bit of iridescent green. So I, I like this bad boy. I'm going to do something else here with him. We'll start with you. And maybe we'll go. Let's go with the orange a little bit. I don't know why. We are. Oh, oh let's do the pink because that's what came out raccoon right and it's all shiny so it'll look okay on black it's looking pretty good cb i just do this for you you know that kind of looks raccoon over the gold i don't know if you guys can see that or not Ooh, that's that's really good. I'm gonna charge it for this one, CD. <laughs> Just kidding. Don't be ridiculous. Um. All right, go go. Let's see what you got, buddy. You can see where that the viscosity of that orange is a lot snobbier than uh, the green. It's really a lot thicker. I don't mind that getting a little bit dirty and heavy, but there's a lot of stuff on there. Okay, another piece of tissue. I'm going to sneeze. Excuse me. I don't sneeze like a little ballerina. I'm not one that plugs my nose and tries to just go. <laughs> I'll let her go. <laughs> Blow my brains out if I tried to hold that in. You crazy. See, that's getting kind of crinkly now, wet. It might be an issue. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's not feeling bad. Oh, ain't that pretty. Oops. Dropping part of it. And the creases kind of, you know, do the texture. You can't hate it, people. Wow. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's... Let's clean this up. Let's do it with Kathy's as I go to clean that up. Oh. 
Okay, what am I cleaning up? Um, let me clean up this. Let me just grab a piece of good old deli. I'm really shocked to have that big as a piece of this. Yeah, this is, says it's 12 by 12, but I'm questioning that. <laughs> Ice cream will cure it. Ice cream, ooh, it's good for everything. And even if you're full, you can still eat it because it falls through the cracks. That's what my best friend, an old lady, lived across uh, the alley from her when we both lived back in row houses. And uh, <laughs> she was very wise, but she said, just eat the ice cream. It just falls through the cracks. It fits in there. Of course, she was about 89 pounds, and she's telling me that. Well, I proved her point over the years. <laughs> my thing. Okay, let's see what we got here. Cleaning it up pretty good. Very subtle bits in there. But another layer. Put a little stencil on there and a little pop of black or something. You can't hate it, people. All right, let's see what, what damage we did today. Oh, I can say what they're, they're hearing any which way they want to. Look at that and see me. That's how much I love you. <laughs> okay. Uh, you're going to have to bring another bag to fly home with all these CD. Okay, let's see what we got. That one's still a little wet. Oh, I have one that's dry. Well, this one was early on. That's just that green I put on there. It was really pretty shiny, but it's that needs stuff. Um, that one's dry enough. We just did that one. We saw that one. That's a messy old cleanup page. You put Uncle Joe away. Little no precious thing that you are. And my little stamp. And the pictographs. <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh oh. Don't tangle up on me. Okay. Let's the cleanup. All right. You got a little sparkly stuff in it. So this one was kind of cool. I know that had interference green. I think that's the one with the tanzanite ink and some white. With it kind of, you know, puckering up with the black showing through it. I like that when it beads up like that on the black paper where that that black shows through. The papers here. Now I can push this away from me more. Since I'm just showing them to you. I'm not using the jelly plate. <laughs> Take care, Jan. Thanks for come, joining. This one's pretty cool. Mama liked that. And this one's pretty cool. This one is lovely. Lovely, lovely. can see little bits of the foil that pulled up in it, the little ghost of that Mayan calendar, and the little shimmer of when I grabbed the pearl instead of the white. Happy accident. This was a cleanup. I got a lot of that different blue and stuff. That's the one Dot said looked like a fingerprint. Um, this 
was the blue black and the red blue, I think. And I think I sprayed some of that uh, Britannia silver on there. There's all kind of all kind of craziness in there. Picked up a little orange. This one, that's a hello lover right there. That's got some real, real goodness on it. Where it cleaned the plate with that quinacridone nicolazo gold. You can't hate it. And here's the little raccoon print. Little Uncle Joe in there having his way with that print. And this is wash color. This I'm not still not wild about that in the plate. I mean the stencil's cool, of course, and if you're a Ravens fan like I am, that would work purple and black. But it's if you look at it close, it's kind of clumpy even on there. You see a little bit of the blue there on the tips of that shape. And uh, but it doesn't really shift so much. Yeah, maybe it does a little. Uh, this was in the Black Deli. Not as spectacular as it had it in my head. You can see the little ghost of that calendar stamp in there. And it was the leftover, what, what was on the plate after I did this one, which I really like this one. It says, you can't possibly use all these papers. Just cut them in half. And I will take one half of your, off your hands. You are a, a gem, CB. You don't know what I'm giving everybody at the retreat, do you? Maybe you ought to just cleat yourself out till July. Um, but that Uncle Joe looks pretty cool in there. And I like, how, again, how the black broke through. Here it looks real, you know, textury over here. Can't hate it. And here's the one that Kathy uh, suggested picking up with the, um, the Nicolazo gold. So you got that orange in there with the turquoise and purple, which you can't hate it. It's pretty nice. This is the white and that early spring ink. You can see just the faintest pink hue in there. I mean, it's really faint. Unless you're here and you're right up on it. You see more of the green that was the interference green. And this is, I think, the one we started out with tonight that got buried under the, my, my stuff. This was on the Black Deli. And then we have this lovely on black tissue. And this on glassine. Oh, thanks, Debbie. And this was on the gold tissue. I don't know. It's okay. This, I don't like how the purple just was flat. Again. It's so transparent against the black paper. Didn't really think that bad boy through. But ghosts of pictographs are good anywhere. And here was kind of a Raku attempt. And that, I was just cleaning up stuff that was kind of cool on the plate. That was a pretty blue one. Who knows what that was? We have to look back at the recording, which I'm not going to bother to do. This one, I got to call that a fail. This one, that was the cleanup of a fail. <laughs> Usually they're somebody's favorites. Here was kind of a reverse patina print. And this was that gouache I'm just surprised how per I know it's on black and it's going to like interference kind of thing. But with as much as this looks blue with that little sheen of that pink in there, you wouldn't think that's what you get on black. But that's what you got. And this is on deli. This was kind of a shiny mixture of stuff. I don't remember what that was. I guess some little Uncle Joe in there. This one. I don't know, I'm going to kind of call that one a fail. Although, as it dried, you can see the um, gold shimmer and ink coming out in there. So, I mean, it's all right. It's all right. Now, down this streak, that's pretty good. Where you see black, and you see the blue, and you see some of the shimmer, and the white paper. This is just like a depth of, you know, well, I don't know. When you look at it with the, just black and gold, that ain't bad either. I guess it's all right. 
And this was on Black Deli. Who knows what that was, but I think I had some interfer interference green on there and some mermaid ink, possibly. And this. That was quite a conglomeration of stuff. I think that had white, gold, and black in it. And is that all we did? It felt like we did more than that. <laughs> Anywho, all right, kids. Mama's going to wrap it up and get working on this. <laughs> so thanks, everybody, for hanging with me. I really appreciate it. And I never used gold flakes on the plate. Yeah, I did that a couple years ago. Well, probably about three years ago. By mistake, I was doing one of the eye stencil sales where I, I stream four days in a row for every day of the sale for an hour or two. Hi, Shannon. Um, thank you. And um, I picked up a print. And I thought, that's foil. How did I get foil in there? And I remembered using it, and it must have wafted over on my plate when I wasn't using it and didn't notice it when I pulled the pole. And then I thought, hey, I'm just going to start putting that on my plate. So that's what I did. Another happy accident. That's how I get through most of this stuff. <laughs> Pray for a happy accident. All right, kids. I'll see you next time. Take care. And don't forget um, P&M. We have a 10% code. I'm going to put that in here again. Whoops. This has been to the end of the year. Patty, TP, Tally Parish, 10 for 10% at PM Art Studios for stencils or whatever. Um, Mariah gave me that tonight to use, so that's really nice. Um, and there's new stencils out there. You're killing me, Smalls. Um, so uh, I'll see you soon. I got to do like Shannon Green. The end. <laughs>